Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Art. I'm here to do another video for you guys. Today, I had a dentist appointment. A lot of us hate going to the dentist. I personally don't mind it. I'm drinking water today. <coughs> I'm drinking water today. My health is getting better. So if you was wondering, my health is getting better. And what happened is, of course, it was a normal cleaning, and they had to do some scaling. If you don't know what scaling is, whew, if you do know what scaling is, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Normally when they clean, they clean around your gum line, right? Because what happened is, is that with scaling, tartar gets in between your teeth and the gum, and it separates them and creates gaps. So they had to stick a, like a needle a vibrating needle into your gum line like this and dig in there to get all that out and it's supposed to close up so and I st started having a problem like about three some years ago where on this side of my on this side of my face <clears throat> I had a tooth infection and what happened that infection basically rotted out a good portion of my teeth up here like rotted out the bone so I had to go to my, of course I went to my dentist then they had to send me to an orthodontist. And then that whole mess happened. They basically had to rebuild the bone. And it's, if everything worked, great. What you did. So I don't have to worry about that. So now I have written down they have to worry about that. Gum separate. Okay. <clears throat> I talked about a lot of things. You know, a lot of times I talk about DUIs. Drunk driving. Sometimes I talk about, you know... Depression, anxiety, mental illness, stuff like that. A lot of times I talked about me getting screwed over by a lot of people. <clears throat> and I'm pretty sure that a lot of people are getting sick and tired of that because I'm getting sick and tired of talking about it. And I'm hoping I'm learning my lesson on that one. But And I started to talk about more about my hobbies, more in depth about my hobbies. <laughs> okay, now what happened is... For a hot minute, I was collecting cards. <clears throat> of course, when I was younger, I collected baseball, football cards. Okay? Back in this... Because, you know, that was that was the thing to do. What happened was I actually played, quote-unquote, football with my baseball and football cards and all this other stuff. And now that I realize now, I'm like, damn, if I know this stuff would be popular today or worth money, I remember I had a Reggie Jackson. Not a Reggie Jackson rookie, but Reggie Jackson when he was with the Pirates or Padres, one of those two, I can't remember. He was called Mr. October because every year it seemed like he was always in a World Series. <clears throat> doing hitting a home run or two. Look it up. I had two or three of his cards. I had some cards of this a whole variety of people. Even some Tigers. Detroit Tigers. Especially before they won, you know, like uh Derek Gibson or something like that. I can't remember. <clears throat> You know, football, I used to have all that. <laughs> that got destroyed. So I don't have to worry about it. I don't long for, oh my gosh, I wish I had. To. My brother was collecting them. He he got that Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card. He got in like three or four of those suckers. Don't know how much they're worth now, but we recently, he recently uh, a couple years ago, we went to my dad's house and grabbed a lot of stuff because I think he threw out the rest of this stuff because we didn't come and pick it up. Oh, well, so that's a lot of toys and stuff that, you know, a lot of toys and stuff that I had that's destroyed and gone. He probably threw out. Oh, well, probably sold them. Who knows? No harm, no foul. And if I don't see it, it doesn't matter, right? <coughs> I didn't have the money to go rent another truck to go get it because I was dealing with some other bullshit. But anyway... He found his rookie cards. He said, oh, man. Hopefully he still got them. Okay. But back in the 90s, cards have become... In the 90s, cards has been everywhere. Even move... You know, for example, I remember when I was young, I collected the Empire Strikes Back and the Return of the Jedi trading cards. I always look through them all the time. Can't find them. Oh, well. 
I actually tell you the truth. The funny thing was at the the big convention I was at in Mich the Michigan Comic Con, they were selling packs of those still, even with the actual freaking heart, even with with the freaking bubble gum in it. That was amazing. I found those. I was like, what? they were selling for fifteen bucks a pack, and I'm like, dude, I used to have a whole stack like this. But I bought it for a friend because he wanted one. So okay, fine. <clears throat> but you know, things. Collecting car collecting, you know. So what happened? Even comic books got into that because and movies got into that because it was a hot thing. For example, Batman Forever. Now, personally, I liked the movie. I personally liked that movie. It was cheesy and shit, but I liked it. But they had cards on that. I got these at Target. Back in the day, like this one, based off the old Star Wars trilogy. Another pack of stuff. Well, this is a. Well, this is more of a um, postcard, but this is from Tops. Nineteen ninety-seven. This is before I graduated college. So it was funny because um, a lot of I have a lot of cards from a lot of different places, and it's kind of funny because I because I pulled these out. I was like, "Wow, I remember this." For example, in the mid '90s, there was a there was a game called Magic the Gathering. They came up with a card. See, these are cards. Magic the Gathering cards. Playing cards. The thing about these are what they call the collectible card game. CCG. Yeah. You could play these anywhere. On the campus, you had a pack of these. You can play them anywhere. You can play them in the school's cafeteria. You could play it in your dorm room or someone else's dorm room. You could play it, in, you could play it at a party. Not during class, though. Not during class. But, you know, you could play these anywhere. I mean, it's funny. I didn't start buying. I bought these in the early 2000s. But, you know, it was funny. And the funny thing is this, this card game is still going strong. I think it was like the mid-90s. So you think about almost 20-some years. Either it's almost 20-some years or a little over 20 years. This card game is still going strong. The comic book store I go to have tournaments of this. Still, still, they still have tournaments of these things, and it's amazing. And the funny thing is, there's probably some of these, some of these cards right here. They're like over ten years old, and they're still in perfect condition too. Maybe some might be worth some money. I don't know. Am I gonna, am I gonna sell them? I don't know. But dang it, who wants some old ass cards? But it's funny though, because I learned how to play. When I bought it, it it was like a special pack with a CD-ROM. Anybody remember the CD-ROMs? <laughs> Plus the artwork was kind of cool. And the CD-ROM kind of told you teach you how to play. And that was funny because I was sitting there, I was like, okay, cool. I learned how to play, then I got together with some group of people and we was playing this all the time. Okay. In the mid 90s, since I'm a comic book fan, because magic became popular. Tops, I think. Is, is it Tops or something? I can't remember. They came out with this game called Overpower. This is a Mar this is the Marvel version. There's also a DC version. I can't f figure out where those are. I know where they are. I just have to figure. I have to dig them out. <laughs> In which what happened is you get a, like a player card like this, like Captain America right here. He has he has all these stats, and then you have regular cards like this. You have to build up your own deck, and you have to fight another guy with him, another person with. Him. It's pretty funny. It's pretty cool too. Me and my friends had a lot of a lot of time. We had a lot of. A lot of, lot of time.
time playing that. Even then, even they also came they came out a DC version, which I can't find at the moment, but they also came out with an image version. Oops. Because they got into it. They got into it, so I bought it too. And it's kind of hilarious. I, like I said, I can't find the stuff I'm looking for, but oh well. Maybe one day I might pick this. Maybe one day I might play this again. Now, the fun thing was that when I went to Japan, I went to Japan for a year as an exchange student. And one of the things I did, I bought, I brought my packs of cards. So that way I had something to do while I was there. And believe me, it, and believe me, it was very, very fun to play. Especially when I was born, I was like, okay, choo -choo 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 -choo. okay, fine. When I got back, another game came out, another card game called Anime Mayhem. Based upon the current anim the current popular anime at the time, like Dominion Tank Police, Project Eight, Cole, Romna, Romna Half, and of course the Dragon Ball. And what happens? We had little tournaments at our school. We had an anime club. We all, we also had an anime club at the school, in which I was a member. Turned out to be the de facto leader of the school, of the club. And under my leadership, we went from having a small ass box of anime to like a half a freaking library. And believe me, we was make and we was making approximately. We made about a hundred bucks a semester to buy more shit. But anyway, and then so what happened was that when people was playing on tournaments, I was I was up on the rules all the time because the internet was just not getting popular. This one character, this one card that everybody sought after. And this and what happened? This card made everybody invincible. And so what happened? to people who found it, I said, oh. Yeah. So what happened? They try to pull that. They try to pull some stuff on me. I said, well, you know what? According to the rules, that's a misprint. Bam! Here's the rules. And believe me, that person was so pissed off. That person was so pissed off. He got me banned from the tournament. And the funny thing, I wasn't really winning. They said I was. They said they said I was cheating because I was using. The Dragon Ball cards, which made people more powerful. I took the weakest characters and made them super powerhouse, and it was whipping people's asses. Hey, but then again, at that time, I, I was making decent money. Part-time. It's pretty funny. Pretty funny. Oh, my gosh. I remember people hated me. People hated me. People hated me. And then what happened was... The guy tried to use that. I said, well, judge. Bam. This is the official rules. I mean, back then, you know, we didn't have cell phones. Cell phones was just starting to come out a little bit. And it wasn't really connected to the internet too well. So what happened was he got on. He had a computer. He got online real fast. He's right. Boop. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <clears throat> it was pretty funny. Also, at one time, they even had Mortal Kombat cards based off the video game, which shows screenshots of video game. Whoops! And certain other pictures, Mortal Kombat related pictures and stuff. And there was a comic book at the time for Mortal Kombat, but you know that happens. And I bu and I bought these when they came out, and I. I bought these, and it's like, now I look at it, it's like, first of all, it was really cool, now I'm like, uh, maybe I shouldn't have bought these, but hey, bars, I don't regret a lot of stuff I buy. <laughs> Even one of my favorite characters, Spawn, had their own set of books, own set of cards. And I mean, it was taken from the comic book, oops, there you go. And of course, Image also had their own version of 
own version of um, yeah, cards as well. <coughs> so, and so they, you know, so that's what they was trying to do. Like I said, everybody was trying to get in the card game because it makes because it was money. Like some more. Yeah, but these ones, you put them together to make it like a little mini poster. And I think I had them all. I think I did at one time. I don't know. can't remember. Oops. And of course, you know, some, you know, they had some of these. So everybody was trying to get, everybody was trying to make money. Every company was trying to make money doing something. Matter of fact, this is one, okay. Even Xena got into the act. You know, like, and they had, sometimes they had little glossy things like this. You know, so it was, so, you know, er, like I said, everybody was getting into the car things. One of my favorite shows is called Robotech, which was the show Backcross and two other shows put together as one. So they even made cards of these, which is pretty funny. I collected a, I collected a little bit of those, just a little bit, because I looked up and I said, where am I going to put all this shit? Oh, when I was in Japan, I bought some Dragon Ball cards. Like, for example, there's this one that was a, like some kind of off of Dragon Ball GT. Because when I went there about that time, in 95, or was it 96? 95 to 96? 95 to 96. Dragon Ball GT was playing on Japanese TV at at seven thirty at night, and so what happened was if you buy if you bought some kind of snack this kind of snack thing it came with a card so I bought a whole bunch of snacks oh well that makes sense right then when I get back home Dragon Ball's on regular TV so they came out with their own Dragon Ball version cards yep there you go. So, you know, it's like I said, everybody buys all the, all these companies was trying to get the car market in because, you know, it's, oh, damn, even porn got into car collecting. Now, back then, I used to buy a shitload of porn. I was a college student. What do you expect? Okay. Do I buy a lot of porn now? No, because it's technically free. If you know where to go. And if you're in that kind of thing. But, you know, it's like, you know, they had their own little carts, you know, cart set. You know, of course, I'm not showing you too closely all this stuff. Because it's kind of racy. And, you know, you might report me. But then again, if you do, okay. Sorry. My mistake. Didn't realize I did look. Sometimes, well, you got Sometimes you got to look at my glasses. But one of my best things is the Marvel Masterpieces. Like this gambit right here. You know, sometimes they have these little. You know, little card, little fl you know, Flair had these little card set, which I bought a shitload of. <laughs> See, like, like that Spider Man, and what happened? They took, they put it, they superimposed like real backgrounds on some of these. And there was so many versions of it. I mean, like, check this out. Mm -hmm. 
deal. I mean, it's like really nice. Really nice cards. Some of my X Men. You know, so, I mean, it's like I said, everybody was getting into this car craze. That Wolverine versus Cyber, that was a cool one. And, you know, it was kind of funny because we was all, me and my friends, we was all digging that. These, like this film style, looks like a film. That was awesome. But two of my best cards is these, and I put these in a special, special plastic, the Spider-Man one, which is pretty cool. I'm trying to remember, was these the one that they were painted by the Hendelbrands? Yeah, this version was like paint. These, this is actual paintings by the Hendelbrand brothers, and of course, Thanos. Love that card. I mean, there was all types of cards. Even wrestling had cards. Wrestling. Yeah, I'm serious. Wrestling had cards. I just thought about that. I just remembered that. I was like, well, what the hell is going on? Come on. Even Dragon Ball had a I, even I told you that Dragon Ball had a card game. Like here's a box of magic cards. And it came with its own little rule book. So you can learn how to read you can learn how to play the game right then and there. And guess what? With these cards you can actually play against people. So this I think it was like ten bucks at the time. That was million Belgium. I think it was ten bucks at the time. I think it was like ten dollars, and you got lots of fun. Some of these Dragon Ball cards was a little bit off the wall, crazy. Damn. Like, for example, there was a Dragon Ball Z collectible card game. In which you had, like, a little counter. <laughs> oh, man, I tell you. I collected a whole bunch of shit. Even WWE got in the collectible card game. The raw deal. And the fun thing is, I bought these cheap. Because it wasn't selling. This one's still wrapped in the wrapper. Me and my friend was going to buy these and we are going to start playing them. Playing because, like, what happens before it went off to the bars? I said, Well, hey, man, we, I got this game. We could buy this 10 bucks. So we or, we found them, ordered them. We never played them because we kept drinking and we kind of got kind of sloppy. <laughs> so I forgot it. Look at that. Even the rock sealed. I'm like, Man, I wish that game would have took off. I wish that game would have took off so that way. It'd be kind of cool. But, you know, that's kind of like what kind of stuff that I used to do. And a lot of times, like I said, a lot of times some of these some of these are just cards. So I can just look up and say, wow, this is neat, neat, neat. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, this is nice. I remember this. Like, for example, um, my boy, Tony, he might like this card. Daredevil and Electra. It's kind of cool. And sometimes when I, for these card games, like I said, you can look up. It's like it'll be like a Saturday night. And at that time, I wasn't dating anybody. A whole bunch of my friends were nerds. Even the nerds with girlfriends would be like, "Hey, let's go play Magic." All right, let's do it. And all ten of us would be playing Magic, drinking and shit like that. But anyway, my mouth is still kind of numb, and I gotta get dinner. And the problem is that, to be safe, I'm going to get some soup. 
So I'm going to run out to the store and buy some soup. Soup in the summertime. Yeah, that's funny. So I can get some soup. And um, with that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, I didn't know how to present this video for a while. I just said, screw it. Let's bring the stuff out and just show it to you. First, I was going to have it more. I am like, nah, forget it. But anyway, whatever you do in life, just remain. Just remember, it's your it's your deal. Don't care about what other people think of you. I used to. I used to say I'm a nerd, and guess what? I'm still a freaking nerd. But the funny thing is, nerdy stuff makes money. It's funny. The same guys, the same guys who used to. Say, call me nerd and stuff like that. Oh man, did you watch Game of Thrones? And I'm like, Game of Thrones is a nerdy book. It's a book series of books. Only nerds read that. But people were enjoying them. This one lady at my job, she didn't even know it was a based off of a book. She thought someone just made this stuff up. That no, was based off of a book. Went on. At work, but I'm like, come here. She, she's like, oh my gosh. And she likes to read, so I think she bought the book set. Who knows? You like those Marvel movies? Guess what? Comic books, nerd. But the funny thing is, I look up and it's like, you call me, like, and I, I remember one time, I, I remember one time someone called me and I said, you call me a nerd, right? Okay, cool. But here's the thing. You study all these sports stats from all these sports stars. And you compare them with everybody else. You try to make comparisons. You try to bet on these things. That's a nerdy event. Because in sports, it's okay, right? No, it's just it's the same thing I do. Just don't, but my stuff is kind of cooler in a way. But anyway. With that, with that, I'm going to go, and this is a hell of a long video than I wanted to, but then again, it was so much to talk about. I might do another video soon. Well, I should do another video before my vacation's over, because I got about, this is Wednesday, I got Friday. Well, I still got the weekend. And then Monday, I'm going to a concert. Well, anyway. Teeth still feel kind of numb. Hate that numb feeling, but I'm gonna get going and uh, talk to you guys later.